Am I a cheat? Well, I recently did a video regarding APA Ernest and his alleged aimbot, which has lost me some subscribers, and uh, hasn't gone down well with a few. It's gone down well with a few others. But I just wanted to show you that you cannot believe everything you see on the internet. So this is just a follow-up video of me making seemingly impossible shots. Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fuji's Blitz and as I said this is a follow-up video to my recent video about um, APA Ernest where I have lost a few subscribers because of it but I just want to show you something. This is me in an IS-7. Now look at this T11E3. Look where I'm aiming. I mean this is a real game and I don't have an aimbot and I can never be accused of cheating. And look at this, I'm aiming at the bottom plate and I get it through the commander's cupola. Now, is that me cheating? Or is that just me having RN Jesus on my side? Well, this is the thing. And all I'm trying to explain to you is don't be so quick to condemn somebody based on a couple of replays because we all pull off impossible shots. I just pulled one off there. And this is the thing. And like I said, you know, my recent video is sort of had a mixed reaction. I've lost subscribers because of it. Um, and look at this for a shot. This is just one of the hardest shots you can do in an IS-7. And it's an IS-7. It's not the most accurate of guns. And I have got so tiny amount to find. And I find it. Wowzers. Now, that's not evidence of me using some form of cheat modification like an aimbot. That's just RNG, guys. And it happens to all of us. Sometimes RNG shines on us. Sometimes it doesn't. And, and this is why I cannot bring myself to condemn a player um, as being a cheat using an aimbot based on replays alone. Because or based on what we've seen alone, because there are so many different things that come into play. Now, you know, that poor guy in the uh, E5 there, he, sorry, E3, he could complain to me. He could turn around and say, these are impossible shots, you are using an aimbot. But I'm not using an aimbot. I'm just playing the game and RNG is shining on me. The same here with the grill, watch this. I mean, look at this. Now, watch this in slow-mo in a moment. I mean, that shot's okay, but watch this shot. And this is just RNG being very, very nice to me on this particular day. I mean, look. Okay, I get a low roll, but look at this in slow-mo. I mean, my gun is all over the place. It's everywhere. I've got a little bit of the grill to see. I'm not aiming anywhere near him at the moment. Now I pull the trigger. As you can see, look, I'm not even aiming at him. I'm aiming above him but I still managed to hit his gun or bottom of his turret. That's not an aimbot. That's RNG shining on me. Nothing more. Seriously, I mean, and we could sit here all day looking at replays and condemn the player for being a cheat. All I'm saying is I haven't got enough evidence. That's it. Now, I'm not saying cheats should never be called out. I am not saying if you suspect somebody of cheating, you should keep quiet. All I'm saying is there are appropriate avenues and authorities. And if you suspect a player of cheating, of using a modification that gives them an advantage, then, and whilst we all bemoan it, you have to use the system implemented by Wargaming. You have to write a ticket and you have to provide the evidence to Wargaming. It is there for us. Wargaming will then investigate. And upon their investigation, and they, trust me, they have the tools to interrogate their own system to see if somebody is cheating and using a modification. Now, I just want to show you this video. This, this, I rolled out in a live stream whereby I did a March stream of T-34. And this is the replay that I recorded afterwards. Wowzers. And this happens a lot. In funnily enough, I mean, look at this. I'm nowhere near that smasher. And watch. I am going to pen him for 4 3 and 435. Now, this happens a lot in when you record the replays. The replays become out of sync. 
That is not to say, when I played the game, I was pulling off these shots. I wasn't. But when I then reloaded the replay to record it, it's out of sync. Now, that's a glitch that we have in the replay system, funnily enough. And based on this, you could turn around and say, well, Fuji, you're definitely cheating here. You're using an aimbot. You're not even looking at the target. Your, your reticle is nowhere near the target, yet you're penning. And you're causing damage. Now, it gets worse throughout this video, as you will see. And I will show you why I'm sitting on the fence with regard to the APA Ernest issue. It's because I can't trust replays all the time. I mean, look at that, my gun's not even anywhere near. Look, the reticle's on the smasher, and I'm smacking the glacial. And you get this, and who's to say that this is not what Ernest is showing you? Who's to say that he's got, you know, correct or state-of-the-art recording systems? Who's to say that his replays were like this replay, you know, slightly glitched and corrupted by by the system. I mean, I'm showing you shot after shot here, where my reticle is nowhere near the tank. I mean, you can see the reticle in the top of the v of the picture, and that's calling out the picture. Now it comes back into the top. Yeah, it's nowhere near the tank. Yeah, I'm hitting him for five ten. That's not me cheating. That's a glitch. It's a glitch in the replays, guys. And this is why I'm saying, don't be so eager to jump on this bandwagon. It's not, you know, we don't know everything and it's not strictly fair. And I appreciate that a lot of people feel strongly about this. And I appreciate that, you know, people have the right to unsubscribe to me based on their views. And I get that and I understand that. But I'm just trying to be rational here. And all I'm saying is, don't believe everything you see on social media stroke YouTube. Because there's a lot that you're not seeing. And, you know, I've never played this clip. I'd love to have played this clip. I'd love to have done a review on the T-34 and say, look, this is what you can do in it. But this clip is just bloody awful because it's so out of sync. I mean, look at that Scorpion G. I'm even aiming at the ground, yet I smack him for 245. Now, if I would have uploaded this clip onto my YouTube channel, then, boy, there would have been a lot of comments. And I wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me if I would have been accused of cheating. And, you know, anybody who's tuned with me, rolled out with me and seen my live streams, you know damn well I'm not a cheat. And I don't use any form of modification. Not only that, I'm a complete techno noob. I wouldn't even know how to use a modification, even if you, even if one was presented to me. It's just the way sometimes things work. And, you know, you're all entitled to your own opinions. And if your opinion is that he's a cheat, then fine, fair enough. You know, you're entitled to that. All I'm saying is there's a lot more to it. I mean, look at this. Look at this glacial. Can you see my aiming circle? No. Yeah, I am a rackim. Where's my aiming circle? Where is it? Where is it? Can you see it? Well, there it is. Look, comes back in the end. That's a glitch. It's a glitch in how the replays come out. For all intents and purposes, you could argue that I am using an aimbot here, based on the evidence I've seen presented against APA Ernest. And I'm not. So, all I'm saying is, chill. Let Wargaming do what they need to do. And if they discover that APA Ernest is a cheat, then they will take action. Simple as that. It is not for us to condemn a player. Debate it, yes. Talk about it, yes. But present it not so one-sidedly, because that, in my book, is just totally unfair. And that's what I said in my previous video. And it, it, it hurts that people have decided to unsubscribe to me based on that video because well it, it hurts because all i'm doing is offering an alternative view nothing more i want to stimulate the debate i don't want to cry foul without having all the evidence in front of me and i don't think that's a bad thing and i think that all of us should be like that 
that we shouldn't just point fingers because somebody says he's a cheat. We should look at these things in the cold light of day. And as you saw there, I mean, that shot looks impossible. And based on this replay, all these shots are impossible. Based on this viewing of this replay, which, you know, is just a straight recording from what I had in my, after the game, everything looks like, wow, it's just impossible. How, you know, you're cheating and I'm not. Anyway, I just wanted to present that side of things as well as a bit of a follow-up to my previous video. By all means, I've been Fujit. Comment, like, and everything below. If you've got any decent replays, wing them across to me at fujitsblitz at gmail.com. If you haven't pressed subscribe, please do so. It's a nice thing to do. And for those of you who have unsubscribed recently, I'm sorry you feel that way, guys. But, you know, I'm not going to just jump on a bandwagon because the mob says so. I, I, I'm entitled to my view as well. Anyway, I'd like to shout uh, a big shout out to my Patreons who without their assistance and support, videos like this would be harder to do. And in the current situation, guys, really stay inside, stay safe, have fun and happy tanking because that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.